look at that transition silky smooth i'm loving it it feels so damn good lobby red game two esquire <laughs> lay it on me man lay it on me yeah game two dave pretty excited about this you know I, I always get pretty hyped up when when game one finishes because it sort of you know it not only sets the tone for the rest of the evening but it's sort yeah. of you know it lets these teams know what they need to do what they need to accomplish what the the sort of the bar is that they need mm. to meet to uh to try to land in that top three top three ranking slot tonight but yeah definitely excited to see how it is going to shape up we have the players loading into the plane now and the plane is flying dave yeah, I, that's good. I mean, I, I love it when the plane flies. It just, it flies so good. And I like this, this flight pass. It's almost identical, but then opposite of our first game here. So, you know, it's going to be nice. I predict we'll see just a prediction. Ghost Gaming, Severn, right? Optic, North George. Uh, let's see. Who else can you really kind of tell where they're going just because <coughs> they always go there type of deal? Do you have any squads that you always watch them almost every game? I mean, I try to watch all the squads, right? But I mean, you know, generally yeah, yeah. with this plane coming out of the northeastern part of the map and cutting down to the southwestern, I mean, we're going to see a lot of these squads opt for their usual areas. Not a lot is going to be out of reach. However, we do see Ghost Gaming, instead of going for the Severny route, they have hopped off the plane almost immediately and, and gone towards Kameshki and Stauber. They're going to have this alone, not seeing anyone parachute near them. I think they're going to be pretty safe here and they're going to enjoy this looting but we do see a few other squads now starting to take this severity area optic going for that georgia pole again they might actually get this uncontested whereas you know the the very first match optic had a rough time getting out of georgia pole with all of their squad mates alive so yeah yep. i mean you know definitely a lot shotgun to, look to for. the face it's definitely rough yeah definitely rough but definitely a lot to look for We're sort of waiting for this first circle to come out to see where these teams are going to need to transition but yeah, I mean, nothing really out of the ordinary, Dave. I think we're seeing a lot of the compounds and areas of the map occupied as we usually do. No one opting for that military island yet, but we do have one squad box populi and the rest of his teammates starting to head that way in vehicles. They might turn off, however, to Milta or they might keep going down to the military base. But yeah, I mean... I you know, one thing to note, Dave, though, however, with this map, we see a lot of teams stacked here on this eastern side. And wow, look at that Ooh. circle, Dave. It has ended up on this eastern side where we have a lot of teams stacked. So, you know, there could be a lot of early engagements given how yeah. this circle has positioned itself. You know what? <laughs> I'm not too crazy about this first circle. You know, we had game one, the circle, maybe 15% water. <coughs> Matthew takes some shots over here as I'm speaking on... The lady committee still in the parachutes here. The disrespect coming out hot right now. Boy, if you get that knocked down, that, that's like five points right there. I mean, I'm going to have to speak to an admin. If he gets a knockdown while in the parachute, <laughs> five points mustache they've approved. Uh, don't hold me to that. But lady committee going to Nova, kind of playing that same uh, strategy that they did. Game one, taking that bridge. And I like that because, you know, there's at least two boats over there. They'll be able to get that loot. And kind of just both their way into the zone. So uh, I can't I can't hate on my boys, Lady Committee, and their strategy. I'm actually feeling it. I'm digging it. But man, all this water though, like I, like I was mentioning before, I was interrupted by those shots uh, in the air. Uh, how much water would you say is this? Uh, 45 percent. I mean, I'm not a mathematician here. Yeah, you know, I'm not a mathematician either. But I think that we can estimate it at around maybe 35 to 45 percent. Uh, you know, one thing to note, though, is something I like to see. The Liddy Committee has Novo all to themselves again, but something a little different on how they're playing it. They have Koopa up here trying to play a little bit of an information giver to see if any other squads are going to transition down towards that military island. Chaney holding the fork a little bit south as well. So definitely a little bit more strategic play coming out of the Liddy Committee as the circle has landed on their loot choice. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, so definitely an interesting play. I think it's, it's it's smart play as well. We see Optic spreading out a little bit more now in that Georgia Pole area, taking three members to the north side and then Optic 17 down on the crates. Yeah, a little bit spread, but they didn't mm -hmm. see anyone land near them, so they're going to be looting very, very well. Uncontested as well, Dave. Yep. But we are starting to now see a lot of these teams begin their transitioning phase already in the circle, trying to lock down any sort of compounds. We see Borduzzi connecting with a few shots from Grizzly Fowler, getting him down, knocking him, 
Actually, Borjuzzi going to get that knock, looking at to see angle. if he can get the kill. Yeah, ends up getting the final kill as well onto him. So that is going to be Vapor Esports with one member down already. Oof. Yeah, yeah, and they had such a strong game one. So very unfortunate for these guys coming in to game two. But I had you just gotta you gotta be careful. I mean, taking that vehicle in, in such an area as Milta Milta Power with this current circle. I mean, you you just have to assume. There's people there. I mean, it's just one of those uh, one of those things here. But I I'm liking Squad 18 Murders Plush Toys in Lapoka. Uh, it's right at the tip, kind of the north end of this current circle. It's got lots of loot, and it's pretty well defendable, in my opinion. Of course, this is just my opinion. As we see, actually, Core 4, they, they're opting to maybe even come in that direction. So uh, it's a little dangerous, a little dangerous for them. But... Uh, I mean, what else is sticking out to you? I mean, the transition phase pretty early on for a lot of these squads, moving earlier than than later. Um, but I mean, the water. I mean, what 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 are we missing here? Is there a piece of the puzzle that we're just missing? Uh, I don't I think, think we're, we're missing, missing much yet. Not a lot has really revealed itself in terms of, terms of the map. But Filthy is taking a lot of shots now at the rest of Fury Gaming over here, connecting with Trekker, getting a headshot and knocking him down, finishing him off to get the kill points for his team, leaving Product Envy over there, hiding behind the tree, trying to decide now how to exactly play this. Oh man. Yeah, being taken out. Rush just dominating this current zone here because they're at such a crossroads that they could do that. You know, there's gonna bound to be vehicles come and transition across their current pathway. And uh, it's just easy kills. The kills are literally coming to them. As we see actually, Profi, and Ghost Gaming, they're, they're working their way into this zone, uh, along with other teams. Uh, ooh, look at this first crate. I like, the, I like the crate. It's a safe crate to get. It's safe. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad crate at all. Level 3 vest, Mark 14, with the 8 times. So if, let's see, if Timid actually knows that that drop is there, he could be a very happy camper. As we see Define Legit now going and trying to scout for his team, Ghost Gaming, to see if they can lock down any compound early in this game. He's going to be stopping Ooh. here at this tower trying to get a better vantage. The second story is going to provide a little bit of height for him to look down on these compounds. Certainly he is hearing these shots now and knows that the southeast portion of the map where Rush mm. occupies is not safe. Yeah, yeah. Quick question in the chat. One, if you like the three-seater. Twos, if you hate it if you just despise it i'm curious to see me personally i'm a two because every time i get on that thing, <coughs> flip it or i am getting stuck somewhere so I don't avoid it at all costs but i know there's some people out there that really prefer the three seater which is interesting so uh, i'll be looking in chat for that but yeah to find legit getting this early positioning here in this wizard tower harry potter tower pillbox whatever you guys call it these days whatever is in the meta but uh, one thing in particular, not only is it kind of centered up, but you have those those dead woods uh, not too far from there. And that that area is just so tough to get to on a vehicle, on foot, and uh, you stick out like a sore thumb. So uh, I'm pretty sure one of these windows might overlook that area I'm talking about here. But the final legit actually takes some shots here across the way. Just, uh, you know, just trying to keep the pressure on, keeping the heat going on, the, the, the heat's on. The yeah, heat's on and, you know, the final legit is connecting with these shots with the holographic sight on the scar. Uh, so that's definitely some good damage coming out right now. He's been able to put a few shots on a Borjuzzi down there as well as Filthy. But Rush is going to be able to keep all four up and secure this compound as the remaining members of Ghost meet up with Define Legit. Austin trailing a little bit behind to the north, but it looks like he's going to be able to get there safely as no members of any enemy squads are in his path. But Dave, the blue zone is coming, so it is going to finally push a lot of these teams who have taken this longer loot phase mm -hmm. on the outskirts of the circle. It's going to push them in now, but we do have a lot of shots now coming out as Ooh. this area towards the center, just a little bit to the yeah. northeast of Melta, where Ghost Gaming and Rush are, is beginning to get a little compacted. We have a a lot of squads moving in there. Murderous plush toys over on the eastern side as well with quad pen just above them as well as core four right above them. You know, so a lot of teams here, <laughs> a lot of teams in this very small area. The circle is rather big. A lot of landmass yeah. in this northern part of the island. But, you know, a lot of these teams have opted for this for this eastern you know, sort of central part. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's it's uh, interesting, I guess. I assume that they just uh, they think someone might already occupy a prison, shelter or even farm. But those are some major areas that they are just un unoccupied right now. 
uh, to my surprise, and it just seems like everyone's pushing more towards the military area. And I suspect it's because of this water. I mean, every time you get a first circle like this, the water, it's in there. It's in their mindset. It's in their strategy book. You just need to stay near it because you never know. Yeah, this next circle, the second, second circle, the third circle, you never know how much water is going to be in it, and you don't want to be far from it. That's right, yeah, we see Profi having spotted out Overjaw and the rest of the murderous plush toys, disabling their vehicle to take it out of any further gameplay. Not going to be able to use that for any future cover should they have to move out of the compound. Profi now getting a lot of shots out down on Rush, Yusuf being spotted through that second story balcony. With the AKM at that, that single tap, four times scope action <coughs> here uh getting getting the heavy cross is very important at this stage in the game especially once when the circles start to close in the transition phases are going to kick in a little faster and uh you know people just aren't going to have time to loot so if you take off a helmet at this stage in the game it could really set a squad back as uh you know they'll be forced to look for a new helmet when they should really be paying attention to their surroundings Definitely. We see Snaker 69 of Hooligans up here on the second story. Very close to that crate with the Mark 14, but is hidden behind this building. So I don't think he's going to be able to see it as the red smoke has dissipated. He might get a vantage on it, but it is highly unlikely. So it's going to be unfortunate. So close yet so far. We see so that far. Noble has now opted for this southern part of Military Island. They're going to be here taking any sort of cover they can get in this house. No one really nearby them. So that's definitely an interesting transition from Noble and their, their teammates. Yeah, playing it safe. Playing it safe, I feel like, because, I mean, the, the odds of the circle being an edge circle uh, that far, especially on the Military Island, I, I find it unlikely, right? But, uh, you know, like I said earlier on game one, with this current position, you can kind of just swim into the zone, take a boat, kind of stroll your way in, and at least have a better chance compared to coming from the north, going your way down south with all these compounds. Uh, you know, you, you want to limit your, your risk, right? And talking about limiting your risk, Optic, they're still in the blue. Uh, they're, they're just cruising on and on. Uh, all of them have vehicles. They're going to come in extremely late. So it's going to be curious to see exactly what they decide to do later on here as uh, it's still going to be a hot minute, a hot minute till they get here. Yeah, they're definitely coming in late, Dave. However, they had Georgia Pool all to themselves and they were very spread out. So they definitely got a lot of loot. It looks like they are going to opt for a northern entry into this safe zone, which I think is a very safe play. I like I like to see that coming out of them, but they have this new circle. Certainly yeah. none of the teams oh. are happy to see this. This is at least 50 60. plus. Yeah, maybe 55. even maybe even 60%, 60 percent water. 60 percent. I'm a mathematician. This is 60 percent 60 percent. So look at how By much volume. of this landmass has been taken out. A lot of the teams are already in this safe zone. But it is going to be just Hellfire trying to move around, given how much of the land has been taken out of this circle. And look at the Liddy Committee here in Novo. We see Noble already transitioning towards this coast near Novo as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if these two squads run into each other. But a lot of movement, Dave. A lot of densely packed areas. Yeah, the Liddy Committee, uh, they're going to get some information here very shortly on Noble, if they don't already kind of have visual on noble as they aren't very far from them but uh th there's action popping off right now in the middle rush still kind of in that uh, initial area towards milta where they initially landed uh playing gatekeeper but their shots ringing out left and right we have void taking shots on the hooligans we have uh who else slime squad taking shots on quad pen i mean we're gonna see some action here in just a second yeah, definitely a lot of action happening right now as we see Teflon TV taking some shots for his squad of Fury Gaming. Rush spotting out a lot of people and getting some shots out. Filthy trying to get some sort of vantage through that shack. Leaves to try to look up the hill as well. We have Ghost Gaming still playing referee up there on the hill. Meanwhile, a few squads still remain in Milta and a few squads are still transitioning as we see Optic not even in the safe zone yet and Little Prodigy and the rest of his squad over here on the edge trying to figure out how they are going to enter this yeah, uh, yeah. this next circle that's going to prove very difficult for any of these teams Ooh. that have not secured any sort of compound or security in this zone 
Looks like Quad Pen actually just secured themselves a squad wipe over there in that particular area. Not exactly sure how many are still alive. Maybe two to three remaining members of Quad Pen, but they're actually being engaged by Ghost Gaming now after all that uh, that heated action, all that noise, all that information that they gave out there. Yeah, definitely. And we see Ghost Gaming still staying on this hill position. Matthew taking some shots over at Vox Populi and the rest of Vapor Esports, spotting them in Milta. Not connecting yet, but definitely trying to put some sort of damage out on Timid over there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Dave, this is this is an exciting circle. I know a lot of the players yep. don't like these water circles, but they sure do provide some great yeah. chaotic gameplay for us as viewers. We see Quad Pen over here trying to get some, uh, you know, some shots out, resupply, shots, yeah. resupply their team members with some meds and some ammo. But they're pretty safe over here. Rush has left that compound and pushed further in towards the center of the circle. All right, uh, Noble actually making landfall on the mainland. They took a boat. They got there extremely quick, extremely fast. They're going to have a nice little ledge to call home for now. Pretty well defendable uh, when TLC, the Lady Committee, does opt to make that transition. Uh, you know, they can just rain down fire and use all their bullets on them. Maybe even blow up a boat. Uh, but that that noise is going to alert Core 4 that is to their east. So they might be snuck up on. Uh, so you got to be you got to be careful at this stage in the game like do you want to give away such a strong position or uh, do you just want to get a kill uh, it's one of the options that you definitely have to talk about as a squad before making such a decision but let's see we got some shots popping off right here some squads <laughs> optic joining us welcome guys welcome to the circle this is the third circle how's it going how you doing yeah, welcome guys welcome optic finally getting into the circle through that very safe northern passage we see little prodigy and the rest of fadeaway three going for this boat over here to try to play the water game the lady committee has found a boat over here in novo they have not oh opted to goodness. take it yet but they're the you know, uh, effectively just waiting for the circle. And look at that. No relief in sight for any of these teams. 70% Yeah, 70% water here. Maybe even 80. <laughs> All of these teams were praying for this circle to make landfall, and it uh -oh. is not. We have a lot of teams now. As soon as the circle came out, they're transitioning. Phil be taking a lot of damage right now as they engage onto Void and the rest of their squad. But shots are just coming in from uh -oh. everywhere. Timmy getting the knock on the Filthy. Teflon TV getting the knock on the Soko Timid finally Noble. getting the kill. Noble now playing a lot of spoiler over here, uh, basically to the the hooligan hooligans. squad. Yeah, they they were they able to get right a up lot on. of connections on the hooligans. They are taking more shots. Snakers pushing out of the U.S. as it's this chaotic play proceeds to take place. Matthew trying to jump down this cliff to avoid any sort of nades that were flying over. He's going to get back in the water and try to get some information out for Snakers and the rest of his team. But, I mean, just shots ringing out everywhere, Dave. Optic running right into Core 4 on the east side. Uh, Ghost Gaming going past Rush. I mean, like you said, Profi, he's center strat. He's safe. We're going to see if the Fine Legend and McCoy can actually make it to Profi right in the center. I mean, Profi's laying down the cover fire. Meanwhile, Optic getting shot out. High pot getting shot out by Pod Pen. Also trying to transition into the zone. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Optic, they were together as a full squad, and they kind of went for that 2-2 split, and they actually decided to throw Bahawaka in the water. And it looks like 17 trying to meet up with Petrol. Taking the shot by Pod Pen. I mean, there's just shots going out everywhere, and we still have Matthew stacked right on top of the Noble Boys. A uh, little prodigy making it in the zone. Uh, <laughs> the leader committee actually in the zone in a boat. Uh, I'm, I'm throwing you everywhere, my man. I, I apologize, but there's just so much going on with this zone. So much water. Oh my goodness, what a hectic, what a hectic circle. Yeah, and definitely. it's pushing. Green zone or uh, the blue zone's pushing in. So <laughs> if this next circle is still in the water, I uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this circle is not what you like to see if you are a player. But if you have secured a compound and you can defend it, you know, it, it's not really anything to deal with. We see the Liddy Committee has opted for the boat play, but a Little Prodigy and the rest of Fadeaway 3 have taken... They've taken... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, just oh, right... They're next to it. Next yeah, to the just right next to this island in the boat. They're going to blow up one of TLC's Ooh. boats. But, I mean, they are just raining gunfire. I have never seen a team take this position on, on this rock rock out here in the water with a boat a lot of shots now coming out from this squad of fadeaway three dude this is see if these open beta five over here coming in hot we got the pirate ships coming in hot taking shots across the way 
Uh, the farm legit go scaring. They got their compound. They're gonna be able to rack up some kills here. Uh, Noble still in that sweet position that I called out earlier. Great call on their part to kind of take that uh, little peninsula and decide to just, just guard it with their lives and the circle totally favoring them. Uh, yeah, we see. That's interesting. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 well, we just saw Master Nook of Noble take out Matthew, who was swimming in the water. Yeah. So Snakers 69 is going to be the only remaining member for Hooligans. He's going to be unspotted by the rest of Noble, but definitely in a tough position as he is going to be a solo for the rest of this game. <laughs> yeah, and we actually got sweaty nerds over there in the ocean as well, coming in hot. They're going to want a piece of this uh, fadeaway three Liddy committee kind of pirate action. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this next circle. I hope it forces them to push onto the land. But, I mean, you never know. You never no, know. You don't. Dave, and look at what Fadeaway 3 has been able to do. The Liddy Ooh. Committee, who had two boats, now had to bail from both of them as they were in, or basically destroyed by Fadeaway 3 with all of those shots that they were putting out. So, you know, no, no vehicles for the Lady Committee. They're going to have a long swim ahead of them as they just keep taking all of these shots from the rest of Fadeaway 3 over there, connecting a lot. They're not going to be able to med or return fire, being that they're swimming. Yeah, I mean, they're going for a nice swim. Their boats were, were destroyed. And the Sweaty Nerds actually gifted a crate as they... I say do that Michael Phelps strat. I mean, I guess the crate gods, they like their strategy, they're swimming. So they're going to get a nice crate and be able to work it into the zone and continue swimming at that. The zone's up. All right, grows the eight times scope. Not too bad, not too bad. But uh, I predict Noble coming in top four here just with their current position. I mean, it's it's really strong. It's really strong right now. Yeah, one thing to look at, we've got Quadpin over here. He's been holding this hill, taking a lot of shots at all of the teams that have been transitioning past them. However, they're going to have to make this transition themselves. They're going to be pushing into the rest of this squad over here, of the Slime Squad, as well as the remaining member of Optic, Hetroar, who has taken up this compound here at the Sniper Tower for some sort of security. He's going to be looking out of his windows, trying to see if he can get any sight lines, hitting a prone to get some meds and boosts off. A good idea as Quadpin. Quad pin is now approaching, Dave. Yeah, yeah, and just attack onto that. We actually have uh, Baha Waka. He's still alive. He's still alive with Optic. He's swimming. Uh, insurance policy. He's been getting shot by Core Four for at least ten minutes. And uh, I know I keep talking about this ocean fight, but uh, Fadeaway Three. They're still taking shots on the Lady Committee <laughs> over there in the ocean. So I mean, we have so much action. Quad pen actually losing a member there in the transition as they push on to the slime squad in this current whoa taking some pre-fires taking them down let's see if they can pull this off and take this compound for themselves yeah Aiko rolled up on this compound very aggressively and was alerted to slime squad's presence able to open that door peek through and get a knock on the, the jet light yeah, Aiko is now looking through the windows, trying to see if he can see any remaining members. But Carbon XYZ is up here across the way in the building and is able to get some shots on Aiko. Aiko retreating into this shack, but is stuck between Rock and Hard Place as a Drunk pushes up and tries to get some shots off, but gets knocked himself. This guy's drunk, huh? He's drunk, uh, pushing like that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Whoops. So they're still fighting, though. I mean, Carbon, he's still alive for his squad. And Ghost Gaming, they're kind of just laying down cover fire on everybody that's around them. I believe that is Lloyd that's uh, been fighting with them this whole time. Let's see, who won this fight? Are we still in this quad, quad pen? They're still in this engagement here. I mean, it's in the zone, so uh, it's fair. It's fair to say that uh, you can continue this fight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not a bad fight for them to take. Black being the only remaining member of Quad Pen. This fight is really played in to Slime Squad's favor, so it's going to be mm. interesting to see if they are going to be able to now transition out of this compound without losing anything more as Black is playing in a very sneaky position behind this RV. But Dave, the circle is about to finish its shrink from this round, and we are going to be now seeing where the next circle leads us. Not before a lot of shots now coming out of Amazon over onto the squad of ghost gaming to find legit taking a lot of hits from these shots as well as lawson taking a lot of hits over here losing his helmet in the process yeah void they, they've been fighting ghost gaming here for at least a hot minute at least three to four minutes uh just exchanging gunfire back and forth next zone is up core four still in it noble still in it uh bahawaka in it the lady committee they're swimming up in this uh up in this his itch and uh vapor esports team number eight 
they're gonna they're gonna be able to walk right in this i mean i talk about buffers a lot they have quite uh, the buffer to their name over there in the west uh one squad that's going to have a tough transition uh the slime squad uh definitely as they make that move down south yeah, Slime Squad, as well as Quad Pen, who just has black left on their team. He just took a lot of damage as Ghost Gaming was able to spot him out. But he is right next door to the Slime Squad as well, who do not know that he is right there. He is trying to crouch walk and get a few angle peeks. Not able to see anything yet, but certainly here's Carbon XYZ. Carbon XYZ comes out the front door, gets knocked, gets killed. Black able to play a little bit of a spoiler here. We're going to see wow. if Jet Life is able to now spot him out. He's coming around the corner. Able to spot oh. out Black prone behind the RV. So great play there by so the close. remaining members of the Slime Squad. Able to secure that position. And now they are going to have to push against this Ghost Gaming Squad. Who has been able to effectively secure a great compound here on the edge of the circle. Not fully safe, but is going to provide the cover that they need during this transition. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be able to rack up these kills. They're already taking shots at Jet Life. Jet Life down, knocked out. And we still have Boyd, one remaining member from Boyd, was in a, a fight with Vapor Esports, and Vapor Esports looks like they're going to push on this compound. Meanwhile, Ghost Gaming once again getting stuck in a tight situation. 4-4 four, four, takes some shots, taking out the Boyd. Uh, this, this is looking dangerous over here in this corner. Yeah, definitely. Think first was able to spot the feet of McCoy underneath that gas station wall and is able to get the down. Profi and Austin to find legit, trying to get some sort of sights on where these shots are coming from and where these enemy teammates of Core 4 lie. McCoy able, or no, actually gets taken out. A nade comes out. Austin takes the kill away from Core 4, ends up killing his own teammate. Not sure if that was an intentional there or not. I don't think he needed to take the kill there as he was behind some sort of cover. But yeah, definitely yeah. some interesting play coming out, Dave. Look at Core 4. They're just laying down fire on anybody that's coming into them. And it looks like Hetchor actually might find out the hard way as he is by himself. I see a couple indicators from Core 4. He's actually going to toss a grenade, giving out lots of information here. They're aware of where he's at. He's getting shot left and right. He's taken down. I don't believe he's going to get up as uh, Bahawaka going for that sweet swim, getting that positioning, which I agree with. I agree with. I mean, it's a tough circle and you might get used to water to your advantage. But 4-4 actually getting some return fire. It's looking kind of dangerous. I mean, they've been taking shots left and right. People definitely know where their positioning is. And next circle's up. Next circle's up. Yeah, next circle is up. But before that, Dave Noble is holding this cliff here. We're a little prodigy and the rest of Fadeaway 3 just tried to climb up. And, you know, it, it, there's a lot of congestion over here. A yeah. lot of congestion as Baja Waka just gets taken out. He was the remaining member of Optic who was swimming in the water here. His teammate already being knocked over there by the Core 4 squad. So Little Prodigy is going to try to get up here on the cliff, trying to see if he can find any sort of workable ledge. But, uh, you know, Noble just playing a great, great position here on this coastal line where a few squads are still trying to transition out of the water, Dave. I mean, they picked this position three circles ago, and it is paying off. They're going to be able to kind of rack up all these kills and get these headshots on these swimmers and assure that they don't work their way up this type of puzzle piece of action that they got going on in the cliffs. I mean, it could just be such a challenge working your way up the cliff here. Uh, meanwhile, we have Core 4 still in an engagement with Ghost Gaming. Ghost Gaming, they're going to have to push here. This is going to be tough. Yeah, Ghost Gaming is going to have to push against this Core 4 squad. Think first for Core 4 already getting more damage put out onto that onto that Ghost Gaming squad. So, you know, this is going to be tough for them. They're, they're, both squads have to move, but uh -oh. Ghost Gaming certainly has the more difficult position to move That's away the from. They're, they're doing the push. Let's see. I mean, the zone, it's shrinking. A couple shots being taken left and right. Meanwhile, Noble also taking shots on Core 4. Core 4 now stuck in a sandwich here. Define legit actually taking down. Uh, it looks like Ghost, they're going to leave a man down. We, we can't go back. They're getting the, the kill secure. Gray, he's about to spray on Austin right here as Austin's making this push up on ledge. He has the information. He saw him. I wonder why he didn't opt into going for those shots right there. Austin taking down Core 4. The victors of this northeastern kind of corner. Wow. Yeah, so Core 4 definitely needed to take out that Ghost Gaming squad. Ghost had a really tough push into Core 4 given their position, but Core 4 is now going to rotate towards this northern part of the circle where Badass Bomb from Vapor Esports lies in wait as a snake in the grass. So will they be able to see him? Only time will tell. Spray is moving up now. 
not seeing him yet. But pulling out the scar. Gets knocked, does not spot him. Damage coming out oh. on the spray. Almost fully killed. Badass Bomb is now going to retreat around this hill to try to get away from any of these angles. But three members Ooh. of Core 4 are able to put the shots down and take him out of the game. That's going to be a squad wipe mm. for, I believe that was Vapor Esports. Yeah, squad wipe yeah. for them. So Core 4 playing exceptionally well again as they push into this northern part of the circle. Dave, we have six teams left, but a lot of action still coming out as Noble still putting a lot of damage out on this coast, able to knock down Little Prodigy. Yeah, they're not going to let anybody get up this coast. And, you know, this circle is going to pop here. No water. Uh, it's just going to be pure, pure uh, chaos as uh, Noble. They're going to be able to push in this zone whenever they want and pretty much take out anybody that's working their way from the water. Can you even get up at some of these spots? I mean, we see Jasper here. Not exactly sure why he's still here. Maybe uh, definitely going for that insurance policy as Little Prodigy is taken out. So he is the last remaining member of Fadeaway 3. He's got, he's got some meds. He's already popping some meds. Uh, good luck to you, my man. I mean, there's six teams alive. You really just need to survive this uh, this water push as all these teams are going to try to get their way onto the land here. And it looks like Sweaty Nerves. They, they found a spot. They, they might have found a spot to work on the land. Yeah, and Monte Carbo over on Core 4 was able to spot out Noble and the rest of their teammates over there on the coast trying to play spoiler on any of these teams still in the water who are going to need to now climb up this coast to transition into the safe zone, Dave. So a lot of teams are going to now have to push into Core 4. You know, that's, that's sort of been the story of this land game is essentially teams pushing into core four trying to get into position uh core four has been in great position tonight but noble spotting out sweaty nerds over there on the western side of this circle putting out a little shot letting them know that they're there jasper is being spotted as Ooh. well and taken out as he almost gets to the beach but noble says no you are not making a landing here tonight <laughs> you will not be getting up this coast so close, so close. The sweaty nerds actually in a engagement with Noble, exchanging some shots left and right. Natural laying down the cover fire here on Young Bay. Health the elf. He's in the front. He's taking some shots as well from Godspeed. But it looks like the sweaty nerves, Young Bay. They just want to go for the zone. They're playing this this placement. They're playing the zone. They're gonna to try to cut off Noble. But uh, it looks like Noble. I mean, they need to fight this. And all these smokes get popped out. <laughs> wow. What I can only imagine how chaotic it is down there on the battlefield. Uh, barely being able to see where you're getting shot from. Holy yeah. moly. Smoke's coming out everywhere. A lot of cover being put down. But Noble is able to push up and knock out the a few of the remaining members of the Slime Squad. Young Bay up here laying prone. Not sure if anyone from Noble sees him. Master Nook being down. Going to go for the res. But Young Bay just playing spoiler right here. Wicker is now from the Liddy Committee taking a lot of damage as he is not going to be able to get up the coast there. Ooh. It's going to be a tough position for him, but Young Bay there laying down is able to tank out Think First from Core 4, getting a knock on him, Dave. Yeah, I mean, he was pushed pretty far. He's uh, he's not near his other members, and they are only three alive here uh, for Core 4. So you want to play this extremely passive as Young Bay from Sweaty Nerves. Looks like he wants to secure this kill. Don't let him take him. Don't let him. Save them. But look at this circle. Snaker 69 from the hooligans. We saw these guys get wiped out extremely early. This guy is still in it. He's playing the snake in the grass. It looks like Young Bay is actually taking some more shots on four, four here. Uh, he could play spoiler for this group. Yeah, he is. He's able to knock Whalen and Think First, getting the kill secure onto Whalen. Think First trying to get some information out to Monte Carbo, who took a lot of damage himself. Not able to spot him, though. Both are prone and both are unable to see each other currently. Young Bay putting out a lot of damage for their squad, the Sweaty Nerds. Yeah, I mean, represent the nerds all around the world here. Taking out one of the, uh, one of the top dogs on the server. I mean, Core 4 is doing a phenomenal job here. Young Bay actually taking out Core 4. Holy. Wow. Man, what a play here. Looks like Young Bay is actually just taking some shots across the way. Uh, you know. Dave, let's look at this real quick. We had three teams remaining. Young Bay just got taken out by Noble, yeah. leaving it to a 1v2 situation. Snakers wow. from Hooligans, able to survive as a solo player for so long, is no now able to get his team to at least second place. Second. So Noble is now going to be pushing up, not seeing him as he is laying down in the grass. Noble's natural takes a lot of damage. 
gets oh. knocked down. 1v1 wow. situation. Snakers puts out oh, a lot of damage and gets the first place for his team. Wow. Talk about wow. a game where solo players played such an impact, Dave. Talk about a game when the snake in the grass, no backpack, wins for your squad. <laughs> Snaker 69, he has to be jumping in his chair, jumping in his room, doing some high fives with his mom or his sister, whoever he lives with, because uh, what a great game. Two kills this game, but the two kills that counted the most that secured the win for his squad. Yeah, what a great game indeed, Dave. That was such an exciting ending circle. And let's look at our placements for match two of the evening. We have got Snaker69 and the rest of his squad of hooligans coming in at first place. Noble coming in at second. Young Bay and the Sweaty Nerds coming in at third. And Think First and the rest of his squad of Core 4 coming in at fourth. So, Dave, definitely an exciting game, too. Let's go ahead and transition over and take a look now a look. at our scoreboard for the evening. We'll get a little refresh on this real quick to bring <laughs> up our scores. Yeah. Oh, I, I love the scoreboard. I love the refresh. The spotlight statistics. I'm feeling so good. Uh, if you guys are out there feeling these games, we got two more for the night. What an ending. I'm still... I'm still shaking up on that that ending, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I mean that was uh, that was that was chaotic, Dave. It was a one v one v two. Young Bay, who had played such a spoiler there onto yeah. that core four squad, wow. was able to get third place. You know, so so yeah. so very good job coming out of them. I mean, uh, Young Bay had all the kills effectively for their team. So so very good play coming out, Dave. Let's look at the scoreboard now. After game one, these are the game one scores. Game two has not been included into this. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, look at these points. Look at these kills, too, that Vapor, as well as Ghost Gaming, were able to put out in that first match. All right, so these are not updated yet uh, for game two. This is only game one scores. But uh, based off of my predictions, <coughs> they got fourth place here with a couple of kills. So they're, they're going to remain up here on the top here. Uh, Hooligans, currently number eight going into game two. They should be able to get uh, a little higher placed as... Uh, Noble also number seven. So pretty much all of our top four, they're going to be bumped up pretty heavily right here. Uh, <laughs> once when this gets updated, I mean, what a great game. I still can't get over. We had pr practically two solo members from two separate squads secure them placements. I mean, Young Bay uh, secure the placements from the Sweaty Nerves with that squad wipe. And then, of course, Snaker 69. So they're going to be they're going to be happy. They, they have to be happy. Uh just don't, just don't uh, be too happy because we still have two more games here tonight. That's but right. To, well, yeah, what do you want to say? I mean, I'm still stuck on that, dude. It was a crazy game, at least for, for my aspect of viewing. No, I mean, it was a crazy game. I mean, looking back at a few of the things that happened, one of the most exciting parts of that game, at least for me as a viewer, was seeing Little Prodigy and the rest of Fadeaway 3 over there engaging the Liddy Committee when they were uh, effectively in the middle of the ocean, Dave. Fadeaway 3 had taken that spot. Uh, had pulled up their boat right next to that island rock that uh, yeah. that presents itself on the southern edge of the map, southern edge of the circle there. So that was definitely interesting to see that fight and how it unfolded. The Liddy Committee is essentially being disabled with both of their boats getting destroyed. But yeah, yeah I mean, one thing to look at with these standings is you know, if you can play consistent throughout the night and get these, you know, maybe top four finishes, you're going to be in a good spot. I mean, a win here or there is good, but consistency is key here. And I think that, definitely. you know, Core Force is definitely playing that consistent role this evening. But yeah, I mean, in, in, the, in these best of series, consistency is key for sure. And we have a best of mm -hmm. four on the evening. Two games in the books, two games remaining for this awesome Premier League season two, week four, Red Lobby, North America. Dave, we are going to now kick it over to the intermission while we set up lobby number three and get it underway. Thank you guys for tuning in and stay with us as we get this set up. Match three will be starting shortly. <laughs> 